What's up guys? So today I got a package in the mail. It was from frame one. My frame one came in and uh, I noticed that there weren't any videos on YouTube of, uh, of the frame one unboxing. So I thought I'd make one so y'all can see uh, what's in the packaging and all that. Um, frame one, uh, a box style controller made by made by Turbo, also known as Steven Kazmir. Uh, the more affordable and uh, presumably higher quality box style controller that you can get now. Uh, they've been backlogged for quite a while. I ordered mine in December, right around the time where they stopped taking uh, pre-orders and um, just got it in today, uh, May 11th of 2021. And, um, it's my first box style controller. I haven't uh, haven't touched a box or anything like that, but I thought I'd uh, give it a try because I heard some good things. And um, yeah, so I guess we'll dive in. Uh, apologies in advance for um, for the focus. My webcam doesn't doesn't seem to want to focus on it correctly, but uh, we'll see if uh, if we can get some good footage anyways. So. I got this cool pair of scissors that I like. They uh, they work as scissors, but then you can take it apart and kind of use it as a knife. So let's uh, use that. Okay. Okay. Totally enclosed in bubble wrap, that's good. Hopefully no damage in shipment. Oh, okay. Well, this is pretty simple. I guess it's just coming here in its uh, carrying case, which you get as part of ordering the Frame 1 as well. Now, I got the Frame 1 heavy, so it's got that nice uh, adenized and uh, cast aluminum, machined aluminum. Um, I'm guessing there isn't going to be too much in here, but still, let's see. Got. Ooh, okay. Alright, little area up top here where you can keep your cables. That's where they're, they put them in here. What is this? Oh, I bet you this is a tool for changing out the, uh, the keycaps on these. Feels pretty good. I don't really uh, have too much experience with. Um, you know, mechanical switches, unfortunately, so I can't tell you if it's, like, really impressively good. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming this is for removing removing keycaps if you want to switch it out. Um, the, the heavy comes with, um, oh, they even include a piece of floss, which I guess is kind of like the method that, uh, that Crane talked about in his video, so that's pretty cool. But, uh, the, the heavy, I believe, comes with, um, Gatron yellows, which um, are very similar to the clears that uh, a lot of people really like, but I think they have like a slightly smaller actuation distance, which I guess is good for uh, for speed. This little card here, I don't know if you can see it, it just says, it just has the Frame 1 um, resources URL on one side with the Frame 1 logo, and then the other side this card doubles as a, a keycap removal tool. Uh, maybe. It's really flimsy. It's like cardstock or something. <laughs> Whatever, I guess. But anyways, here it is. Alright. So, I believe you're supposed to keep your your hands... You're supposed to, like, kind of have them inward and you rest them above. You don't want to like have your hands laying on it. There isn't really too much space to do that here though too. It's pretty good. There's a bit of play in the buttons, but uh, nothing I think that would bother me too much. I kind of like the sound. It's very, uh, very poppy, bubbly. I think this is forward and back, so dashing like this. I think that's jump. 
I don't really remember too well, but it's pretty cool, pretty nice. There's a Framon logo in the bottom left here, which uh, I guess that's printed on, or maybe like the aluminum is just treated differently there, because it kind of has like a different reflective capacity to the rest of it. And uh, yeah, there on the back we got that grippy rubber. Feels really nice. Very heavy, actually, though. A lot heavier than, uh, than I was thinking it would be, but I guess that's just how it goes when uh, when it's cast out of aluminum. So, yep. Pretty nice. I'm excited to try it out. Maybe I'll do a couple other videos on that. Who's to say? But, um, yeah, I guess texture of the buttons, too. Um, there's not really any texture to them, but your fingers aren't, they can't really slide very well on them. I guess it's just the material it's made out of. I don't know if it's, I forget, I think they're, they do specify what kind of plastic it is. But, um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.